Heavyweight boxing 2016. It's with just 15 defeats. I'm T Cozy, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the future of the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. Thanks for watching this video. I would really appreciate it if you could just click that little like button, and if you like to, hit the subscribe channel. So, it's recently been announced that the WBA, the World Boxing Association, are going to undertake a tournament, tournament to determine one champion. Currently they have three world heavyweight champions. Yep, we all know it's ridiculous. Tyson Fury is the super champion. Uh, Chagiev is the regular champion. And Luis Ortiz is the interim champion is actually ridiculous how can they how they can possibly have an interim champion whilst they have a regular champion and a super champion we all know the reasons why uh, but it's pathetic but the WBA have come out and said that they want to have one champion now even if the tournament comes to fruition it's unlikely to uh, come to a completion until sometime in 2017, so let's not get carried away. But they've proposed a scheme of matchups, which half of them are already in the pipeline anyway, and possibly not um, due to their undertaking anyway. But what they've put across is they've put two sides, and on the right hand side, we've got the already pre arranged. Uh, Chagiev versus Lucas Brown matchup, which is in March. That's going to be an excellent matchup. Really looking forward to that to see whether Chagiev still has it, whether Brown actually has it. Um, so that's going to be a really interesting matchup. And apparently, the winner of that will then take on Frez Quendo. Now, he previously fought Chagiev for the vacant regular championship and was defeated um, the WBA have announced that um, Frez has got the rematch via a court order amazing, amazing um, there seemed to be some dodgy dealing in the original agreement uh, for the first fight and he's managed to worm his way into a rematch and this will take place after the Brown fight so We'll see who gets to this final out of those three guys. I think it could be Brown. It could be Brown if he if he's on his game in that first matchup. I think he'll he'll he'll, he'll win the semi comfortably and he'll get to the final. Now on the left hand side, it's the more interesting, it's the more debatable side whether it will really happen. But we've got Vladimir Klitschko, former undisputed super duper champion and he is going to be having his rematch against Tyson Fury where Fury won got all the belts was stripped of one of them and Tyson Fury is the undisputed champion of the world it's the rematch I believe it's happening in April or May brilliant um, I think it's going to be a good fight I actually think the rematch is going to be exciting unlike the first one because Klitschko has to go for it he has to go for it. So this is a brilliant matchup, and it's going to be the pivotal, pivotal fight in the whole of this tournament. And I'll go on about that later. But the other matchup, of course, is Luis Ortiz. Recently won his matchup to win the interim belt, and apparently he's going to be going up against Alexander Ustinov. Ustinov is a pretty interesting fighter. I've kind of semi-watched his career for quite a long time without him really getting to the top. He had a matchup against Pulev, which he lost, but he's managed to win most of his other fights uh, via knockout. He's a very uh, large guy um, and very awkward, very limited, but fairly interesting. Um, he's he's getting on a bit, but quite an interest. And I think these, these are two beasts, two beasts, and it's going to be a very interesting uh, matchup for Ortiz. But you'd think Ortiz will get through that because of the high up train behind Ortiz is building and building and building. And everyone thinks that he could be the next one. He could be the one to beat Tyson Fury. But anyway, so as I said, it's all pivoting on the Fury-Klitschko 
because I believe if Klitschko wins the rematch and he decides to continue with his career, he can clean up with the rest of these guys in this tournament. If he loses, Sussan Froome moves forward, the new super champion, he will then fight Ortiz and then someone else. Whether these round of matches will take place, I'm not sure I can see Fury fighting Klitschko and Ortiz in the same year. That's just my opinion. It might happen. It probably won't, though. Um, so as I say, I think that if this comes to fruition and we get to 2017 and we've got a final for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World, my money's on Fury Klitschko to be holding that one championship belt. So thanks for watching this video. Please give us a like if you've enjoyed the video. Please give us a comment, any comments. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win these matchups? Who's going to be on? Who's going to be crown champion at the end? Leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next round of with just 15 defeats.